In this video, we would like to show you a more convenient way of acquiring images by switching the screen display into the so-called dual view mode. We do this by clicking on the icon on the right hand side here and selecting dual viewer. You can now see that we have two images on display. The right hand image is the image that is selected in the gallery and you can see it has the red board around it. On the left hand side we have the live image from the camera and if I adjust the, the specimen you can see that this specimen is is moving indicating that this is the live image. What is particularly convenient about this is that I can acquire an image and at the same time compare it with the image on the right hand side. And even when I acquire the image I can immediately see the image that I've acquired. But to do that I need to make an adjustment to the way in which the acquisition is performed. So instead of acquiring the image into browse I don't want to switch to browse. I change this by looking at the options and then selecting the preferences dialog. On the preferences dialog I select the image tab and then I look at the panel that is called after capture. What this is asking me is what I want to do with the image after I've captured it. So after I've captured it I'll do nothing. I'll simply stay in the acquire workflow. And now I click OK. So I can now look at my image that I've acquired and on that image maybe I want to take a, a close-up view of this particular solder pad area. So I adjust the zoom on the image to look at that area and now when I capture this image it will immediately be shown on the right hand side of the screen. So I can now compare the image that I've captured with the one on the, the, uh, on the left, the live image and perhaps I want to uh, adjust the focus a little bit or I want to change the, the zoom a little bit. I can, I can compare these two images very conveniently.